In this video, we're going to look at uh, the derivatives of uh, uh, inverse trigonometric functions. Um, uh, there is uh, six of them. We are going to start by presenting the first three here. Um, so if u uh, is a function of x, uh, then the derivative of uh, inverse sine u with respect to x is given by 1 over square root 1 minus u squared du dx. Of course, by the chain rule, uh, the du dx is always going to be there because it's just the derivative of uh, u. So what this means is that uh, the derivative of inverse sine really is, uh, is just this bit here. So if this is x, uh, then that's just going to be 1 over square root 1 minus x squared. And this bit here is going to be 1. Then the derivative of uh, inverse tangent uh, is uh, 1 over 1 plus u squared. Uh, that's just the derivative of this. And then the derivative of uh, inverse uh, secant is uh, 1 over u um, square root u squared minus 1. What we're going to do now is we're going to derive um, uh, 1 and 2. And then we're going to tell you about the uh, derivatives of the other three inverse trigonometric functions. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Okay, so, um, so let's call this uh, proof uh, of uh, equation number 1. So in equation number one, we want to show that the derivative of inverse sine is uh, that expression there. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to let uh, y, uh, which is uh, a function of x, we're going to let this be equal to inverse sine u. Now remember that u is also a function of x. Um, then we're going to take sine on both sides. You know, take sine on both sides. The left hand side is going to be sine y. The right hand side is going to be sine of inverse sine u. Now, um, if you take uh, sine of inverse sine, so this one undoes that one. So we're going to end up being left just with u. So this is going to be sine y is equal to u. So remember, u is a function of x as well. Then now we're going to differentiate with respect to x. So differentiate with uh, respect to x. So this side derivative of sine is cosine. And then derivative of y is going to be y prime. Uh, this side derivative of u is just going to be u prime. Uh, so let's uh, write it uh, as du dx. Um, and then now, since the thing we want the derivative of is uh, y, then the, the, the derivative we're looking for is y prime, actually. Okay. So here we just need to make y prime the subject of the formula. Okay, cosine y du dx, and then where are they? Um, however, we just need to write cosine y in terms of u, and then we are going to be done. So uh, using this equation here, we can uh, construct a right angle triangle uh, if uh, our angle is y here. So this is saying sine y is equal to u. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So that means the adjacent side by um, Pythagoras going to be square root 1 minus u squared. So that means cosine y is going to be this side divided by 1. Um, 
So from here, cosine y, simply square root 1 minus u squared. So if we take this and plug it uh, uh, in here, then we have got the required formula. So this is going to be 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared du dx, which is indeed the required formula. Right, we're now going to do the same thing for the second formula. So proof uh, of uh, equation number two. So this time we're going to let y be equal to inverse tangent u. And then after that, we're going to take tangent on both sides. So that's going to be tangent of uh, inverse tangent u. Uh, and then again, that means this side is just going to be u. Because if you take a function of its inverse, then you end up uh, with what you started with. Um, then we can differentiate here. Derivative of tan is a secant squared. Derivative of u is going to be du dx. Sorry, we are not uh, done with the derivative of the left-hand side. Derivative of tan is secant squared. Derivative of y is y prime or dy dx, of course. Then we make y prime the subject of the formula. So this is going to give us this time cosine squared y du dx. Then we need to write cosine squared y in terms of u. So that's uh, when we come back to this equation here. So this time, um, so if this is a right angled uh, triangle and uh, this angle is y, Tangent is uh, opposite of adjacent, so that gives the hypotenuse as a uh, square root of 1 minus u squared. We are looking for cosine again. So cosine y here is going to be 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared, which means cosine squared. It's just going to be 1 over 1 plus u squared. And so if we go back to our expression here, that is going to be 1 over 1 plus u squared uh, du dx. And that completes uh, that derivation. So what these uh, uh, formula mean is that, uh, for instance, uh, as we have uh, mentioned the derivative of inverse sine x is simply going to be 1 minus 1 over square root 1 minus x squared. And then du dx is going to be 1 here. And then the derivative of inverse tangent x is simply going to be 1 over 1 plus x squared. Because if this is x, then du dx is just going to be 1. Now, um, to finish off this video, how about the other three inverse trigonometric functions? So we've just done inverse uh, derivative of inverse trigonometric function, sine, tangent, secant. How about cosine, cotangent, and cotangent? Well, those three we are going to include here. Um, and uh, they are so much... Uh, their formulas are so much similar to these ones. Uh, we don't need to rewrite the, 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 the formulas. So the inverse cosine, so inverse cosine u, is uh, exactly the same as the sine one, except that uh, it's going to be negative. So it's exactly this formula with a negative so what we are going to do is we're just going to write this as plus or minus okay so if it's inverse cosine then 
uh, we're going to go with the minus here. Um, then we do, we can do the same thing with uh, these other formulas here. Um, the tangent one uh, goes, shares the formula, if you like, with the inverse tangent one. So if it's inverse tangent, that formula is going to have a minus sign. And then similarly, the uh, inverse cosecant one goes with the inverse secant, uh, and all that's going to happen is that formula is going to have a minus there. And then we have uh, all six of them. All right, thank you for watching the video. In the next video, we are now going to look at some more examples um, of uh, what is going to be the derivative of, say, inverse sine, uh, if it's 2x minus 1 there. So what's going to be the derivative of that? Otherwise, for now, thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, do remember to subscribe and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.